Well, this man here, question, from NCRT book, 13.29, 79 volt AU, 198 decay, give beta decay according to this equation, minus 1 E0 plus 80 Hg, 198 mercury, and P is plus Q. And this is the inner relay diagram, 79 AU198. These are the energy level of 80 HG198. Means in beta decay, I have told you many times that kinetic of beta particles are different. So this is an illustration of that uh, statement. Uh, if beta 1 emitted, then nucleus of mercury is left with energy of 1.088 mEV. If beta 2 emitted, then nucleus of mercury is left in a state of 0.12 mEV energy. In nucleus of uranium, the mercury has energy this. And this is the ground state. So first of all, you are asked here kinetic of beta 1 and beta 2. The question is just an illustration and it will explain you how gamma rays are emitted. I have told you many times that during beta decay or alpha decay, this is your total nucleus. And it is left into excited state. These are two excited states. And <coughs> the excited nucleus try to go to ground state by emitting extra energy directly or in subsequent transition. It goes to the directly or from this to this and then this to this. So you are also asked frequency of gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma 3. Gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma 3 are the gamma rays which are electromagnetic waves, so you are asked frequency. So first of all, you have to calculate mass defect here. Please uh, listen to me very carefully. Here delta M will be equal to mass of 79 AU 198 minus actually what are given to us, we are given mass of atoms, not nucleus. And this process of decay is of nucleus. So we have to take mass of nucleus. So mass of atom has mass of uh, atom has mass of atom um, or plus, sorry, mass of nucleus plus mass of the electron. So 79 Me. That will give you mass of nucleus of gold minus this plus this. Yani ke Me plus mass of 80 Hg 198 <coughs> minus 80 M. When we solve this, actually 79 minus or plus 780, sorry, it is 80 m. So we left here only m of 79 AU 198 or minus mass of 80 Hg 198. And we are giving these masses as 197.97.968233 minus this mass is 197.966760 and this difference come out here to be equal to I have calculated here for your simplicity 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन फोर सेवन थ्री इट इज अ मास डिफेक्ट इट इज अ मास डिफेक्ट सो अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी रिलीज क्यू इज इक्वल टू क्यू मीज एनर्जी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन सेवन फोर सॉरी फोर सेवन थ्री इंटू नाइन थर्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव एम ई बी एंड दिस कम आउट टू बी इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट थ्री सेवन टू वन एम ई बी द एनर्जी रिलीज बाय द डिके ऑफ गोल्ड इन टू मकरी रिलीज दिस मच एनर्जी then <coughs> if beta 1 is emitted then nucleus of mercury with this energy so kinetic of beta 1 kinetic energy of beta 1 is equal to 1.3721 minus 1.088 mv here it comes out to be uh, 0.284 mv and your discussion actually beauty of this discussion is to understand uh, how beta emission take place and then how gamma rays are emitted when i asked some learned people how the gamma rays are emitted they were all unknown actually we keep on telling the properties or alpha beta gamma we don't understand why the emission is being taking place so please hai na and then kinetic of beta 2 that is 1.3721 minus 0.412 mv Zero point MeV. This come out to be here zero point nine six zero MeV. So these are the kinetics of beta one and beta two. Actually, I have sold myself here just to save the time on video and to avoid the mistake done by me. I am also human being. Uh, uh, I may get nervous. I may get Puzzled by seeing the calculation. Now, how to find frequency of gamma one, gamma two, gamma three? When gamma one is emitted, the mercury nucleus goes from this end to this end. So, delta, so energy of gamma one is equal to one point zero eight eight mev. यानी के इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जीरो एट एट इंटू वन पॉइंट सिक्स टेन टू पावर माइनस थर्टीन जू एंड यू नो डेल्टा इक्वल टू एच न्यू सो न्यू इक्वल टू डेल्टा ई अपॉन एच डेल्टा ई एट ईज वन पॉइंट जीरो एट एट वन पॉइंट सिक्स टेन टू पावर माइनस थर्टीन अपॉन सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री टेन टू पावर माइनस थर्टी फोर हर्स ऑन सॉल्विंग वी गेट न्यू वन इज इक्वल टू हियर न्यू वन कम्स आउट टू बी टू पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री टेन टू पावर ट्वेंटी हर्स dividing this you can divide yourself please don't use calculator divide yourself i am telling the path which should be followed by you to solve then you two similarly the new two only it is point 412 into uh, 1.6 to the power minus 13 joule actually this energy may be Upon six point six three, 
10 to power minus 34 and it comes out to be 9.94 10 to power 19 hertz these are the frequency range of gamma rays please frequency range of visible light 10 to power 14 hertz mein hai <coughs> x-ray 10 to power 16 hertz mein hogi 18 to 16 there is no well defined boundary between x-ray and gamma ray but the energy of gamma ray of certain million electron volt you are seeing it is million electron volt energy and then nu 3 nu 3 this may difference uh, it comes out 0 0.676 into 1.6 10 to power minus 13 upon 6.63 10 to power minus 34 and it is coming here 1.63 10 to power 20 hertz dear student from questions you must learn the data if someone asks actually when I became teacher a person came to me, he was just judging myself. What is my level of knowledge? Actually, in student life, you will are much in better position than me. So he asked me, what is the distance between the atoms uh, of molecules or, at or atoms of solid material? So I had no idea at that time. I asked it is given in tables, you can see there. There is no particular answer for this. But he was asking me roughly the estimate. So you must have learned these estimates, the distance of the atoms in uh, like nickel, nickel crystal has 0.9 angstrom. And uh, other NaCl and other, other things. It vary, but it is of angstrom order. So frequency of gamma ray is of the 10 to power 20 hertz, and visible light 10 to power 14. I, you have learnt a table in which you are given spectrum of electromagnetic waves. Repeat and revise that spectrum also because in exam you are asked. A wave has frequency 10 to the power 16 hertz. Name this wave. Ye kaan ho sakti hai. Maybe x rays or gamma rays or visible light. If you write it 10 to the power 16 hertz as visible light, you will be getting zero. If you write that x ray or ultraviolet, you can get the answer. correct one answer. So I hope you will enjoy. And in the coming video, I will be telling you. Uh, questions on radioactivity, nuclear fission, fusion, uh, which we have been asked in competitive exam. Thank you.